Hey everybody. So today we want to bring you a video of another step in our barn dominium build and that is the chinking of these walls. And if you haven't seen our other videos, we cut all of these uh, hardwood boards on our Woodland Mills HM126 sawmill out of trees that were here on the property. And we put them up while they were green and they've been drying for about the last year. So now that they are dried, obviously they did slide apart. We put these together, butted up next to one another and the cracks have gotten fairly large uh, up to, I think the biggest one we have is probably five eighths wide. And we knew that going in. And so we knew we were going to chink these uh, boards once they dried. And like I said, now that this, these walls have been up for about a year, we started chinking them and this is the video we'll bring you. So we hope you like it. If you do, don't forget to drop a like and be sure to subscribe to see more. We love your comments. Have a good one, y'all. Hey everybody. So we're getting ready to chink all of our boards that we've got in. And what we're doing is we've got our half inch backer rod, they call it. And we also have some quarter inch backer rod. And what we're doing is on these boards, you can see that we've got the particle board behind it. And so what we're doing is taking this half inch backer rod and sliding it in like this, hard to do one handed. And then what we'll do is we'll come back in. We bought our chinking compound in the caulking tubes and we'll caulk this in and that'll give us where we've got about a quarter of an inch thick of caulking. And then of course, obviously by the width of the crack. And then the other thing we're doing is we didn't have plywood behind this wall or particle board. So what we're doing is when we put that foam in, it would push in past the studs and we were afraid we were gonna end up filling a lot of this wall with that caulk, with that chinking compound, which is pretty expensive. So we actually are just cutting more dried strips of our siding and stapling them in with our crown stapler. And then again, the goal is to have a quarter inch thick gap, the width of the board gap to fill in with our chinking compound. So I'm gonna put it on time lapse, but you can see we've already got some of this wall done. We still have a lot of that wall to go. Uh, there's that, if we put that backer rod, that's just foam in, I think it would just push into that gap. And then we'd end up putting a lot of chinking compound, uh, wasting it behind the wall. So we're gonna put a solid strip in here, like we have here, and then get ready to start chinking. And this is the back bedroom. It's our weight room uh, and workout room and would just be a spare bedroom otherwise. But we're starting back here because this is a room that if it takes us a little bit to get our technique perfected, it's not as big a deal here as if we'd started in a living room. So I'm gonna put it on time lapse and we'll film this. Maggie's out cutting more strips right now and hope you enjoy the video. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. And now, to keep it where I put it, 
not like it's going to go far. So you're going to do a whole lot. Of just... Hang on. Hang on. I I'm didn't get you in the camera. Oh, <laughs> oh you're moving too fast. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me just, are you ready? Sure. Okay, so using the pinner to hold those wood strips in. And I'll tell you what, those DeWalt tools that have those lights on them, that is so freaking handy. They're awesome. They really are. These are the best. Okay, so this little wall is finished. Yeah. And finally. <laughs> When we get this room and the hallway done, we're going to get out the caulking tubes mm -hmm. and start chinking this. And see what happens after that. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so in these cracks that where we've got these walls that have the quarter inch uh, particle board behind them, this foam backer rod works really well. But these cracks, some of them are a little bit small and the thing that's nice with the foam is if that's too fat to go in there if you pull it slightly it shortens it up the other thing is just using a putty knife or i've got a piece of that scrap that we're putting in the wall uh, to just shove it in there so we're using the foam backer any place where we've got a solid wall behind our boards and then where it's just studs this foam backer rod shoves into the wall and we would just end up filling the wall with chinking material, which we can't afford to do. So that's why we're using these little wood strips in between them. Hey everybody, so we're ready to start chinking our gaps in our uh, native lumber rough cut siding that we cut on our Woodland Mills 126. And when we put these boards together, they were uh, tight. And then as they dried, they spread these gaps. And some of them spread wider than others, but we're ready to chink this. And so what we did was we used Varathane, Ultimate Polyurethane, it's water-based, and we used the crystal clear satin finish. We sealed all of these boards with that. Then we came in either using cut pieces of filler or the commercially available foam backer rod for chinking. And where we used the foam backer rod was like, for example, on this wall, because we have a piece of quarter inch particle board behind these boards. So this foam on this, when you push it in, it's sitting against that uh, particle board so it doesn't just slide into the gaps. Over here on this wall, this was just two by like, four uh, studs in the wall. So basically there's nothing behind this gap between the boards and what our commercially available backer rod was doing was bowing, right? And so it wouldn't stay between these boards. It just pushed into the gap between the wall. And we were afraid we we're gonna fill that entire wall cavity up with chink if, uh, if that was the case. So we filled it in with our board pieces. Now what we've got is we've got our permachink compound and we bought it in the 30 ounce tubes. And each one of those tubes comes with a little filler uh, nozzle. And we've got our DeWalt 20 volt max caulking gun 
set up for the big tubes. And we're gonna start back here behind the washer and dryer, uh, trying to learn the best way to use these without making a mess when we get up to where it's visible and like especially out in the living room which will be probably the last room we do it looks good we've also got these uh spatulas these are silicone rubber but the idea is to smooth the caulking tube out the layer of caulk out once we put it in to make a uniform look all right so we bought this product called permachink in the 30 ounce caulking gun tubes and we got this from a company called Log Home uh, Shop, which is on the internet, and they're out of Michigan. And then this actual material comes from Tennessee because they had to drop ship it directly to us. But I'm going to tell you what, uh, with the fact that we did not have to go to a store, and then we ended up having actually some tubes that were broken uh, inside those cases and they were unusable the stuff once it's broke it can start drying and it did uh, but every tube that was damaged that was not usable I uh, simply called log home shop and talked to Kim there in sales and she got new tubes replacement tubes sent out to me with free shipping and they ship everything FedEx and for the most part everything arrived within one if not two days so we're really happy with them, and if you need chinking, log home shop on the internet. They take care of their customers. Okay, so this will be our first bead. Oh, there it goes. Yep, I see it coming out through the nozzle. Yep. I'm going to slow the speed rate down. Well, I'm just kind of doing this like I do arc welding, <laughs> feeding it in. You better turn off. Yeah, it seems to keep running. Either. Yeah, it runs out for a long time after you let off yeah. the trigger. Just go to the next reel up, yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I think maybe what we might have to do is put a bunch of it in and then come back and finish it. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I think that it's, we got to have it stick out just a little bit. Okay. So I'm just gonna let it run. Yeah. Until it runs out. Tight confines isn't the best place for no. a giant caulking gun either. Yeah, no joke. This thing is huge and it keeps getting hooked on everything. Can you just hold that like mm -hmm. that? And slow seems to be much better. Yeah. Either. Yeah, if you, you see I'm a little short here. So I'm trying to get that to smush back up there. Yeah, I didn't pull the trigger, it's just coming out. Right. I think that's going to be enough. All right, I only had one reading this spot. 
the nice thing too, since mm -hmm. we're doing a cosmetic, right? Yeah, <laughs> this, this, yeah, this, yeah. There's no air going to come through here or right, rain or anything. Right, right, right. No, and this is not going to get bothered by anything. It, it's fine, really. It just—it's all about how much it stuck on the wood, wood up above it. Yeah, glove might be good, but then again, you can't take the glove off. You know, you'd have to have another glove and another glove. Oh well, yeah. Glove. Well, like my—I've got several spots on my fingers. You know. Well, I could just keep moving the glove to a different spot. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think I got those two. I'm going to do this crack. Are you? Well, that's the plan. I was going to fill, uh, see I put that stuff in there? Oh. Um, but I don't have to. That's the plan. We'll jump out the way and I'll put some caulk in it. Okay. Got a lot of extra on the bottom, so you know. yeah. I'm gonna get to the bottom. chose silicone tools. Yeah. These are just flexing and working very well. I don't think you have enough down here. That's what I'm thinking too, but I have to bend over to see it. My theory is I'll go to this end. Uh-huh, pull it back. And pull it back and see where, you know, where I'm at after that. We're trying to add more. Yeah, I wouldn't add none because yeah. <laughs> we got a ton on that wall. Exactly. This was the very start of our chinking experience, and we do get a lot better. We figure out how to do it faster and cleaner, and we really like the look of it. We didn't really find any videos on how to chink, so hopefully this helps somebody else out. We really do love how it's turning out. So we figured out before we get out from behind the washer and dryer that we're going to need a drop cloth. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, uh, what we do is we're done for today uh -huh. and let it dry. Then we're going to see what a sander does or doesn't do because this is going to be a mess. If uh, we don't. Well, and okay, so look, it's one, two, three, four not even four, right, uh, rows, and that was one two. Yep. And we have an entire house to do. Yep. So I'm not sure the tubes, the tubes sounded convenient, <laughs> but I think we're gonna need a more bulk situation. <laughs> we may very well need it. I can't say for sure just yet. Uh, that seam right there that you just did to the right looks really good. Yeah. And it stayed inside the wall, you know, instead of getting all over the wall. Yeah. Well, um, the more I spray it with water, the better off it seems to be. Because I'm able to come get it back out of there, except where it's rough. That's where it's rough. See? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to need to know. What, uh, You know, in uh, Tennessee, there's a college you can go to uh -huh. where they train you to do this. <laughs> yep. And I only really going to need to do it the one time. No doubt. So I'm not paying the extra. <laughs> no, because uh, that show we were watching the other day, the guy had a, uh, yeah. like a Bachelor of Arts in uh, 
what I forget what they call it, like well, historic called, arts or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a historic building type of Building trades, yeah. Yeah. The problem is finding a job. Right. And for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because everybody that's like us is just going to do it themselves, even if it's not college rated <laughs> right now. Here's the thing. If it all looks messy, yeah. I'm going to say that was on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guarantee you the pioneers did not sit around Maybe making this stuff perfect. <laughs> no, I, I would just about, I mean, I would literally guarantee you that the pioneers stopped leaks with whatever was there. Leaves, mud. I thought I heard a long time ago that chinking originally was some kind of manure product. <laughs> Uh, I looked it up when I was trying to figure out all this stuff, and then there's all kinds of recipes for how to make your own. And it was mortar, it was mud, it was cow shit, it was anything that stopped. That that looks really good right there. From moving. Yeah, any place where it was wet ahead of time, it. Uh, it's very well. Uh, yeah. That's why we're gonna need a drop cloth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let that dry without actually touching it. Stepping in. We'll be it, yeah. able to pick it up. I hope. That's fine. But otherwise, it may just be like this. Yeah. Right, let's go to the other side. Move those hoses. Yeah. Not unscrewing them was nice. Yeah. But it wasn't the most convenient. It's like <laughs> nice and not nice all at the same time. It's a good plan. Yeah. Working it's, plan. It's an excellent plan except when you get actually working the plan. Yep. That I like that. Yeah, you might be going in just a little deep, but uh, yeah, I still but like I got, it. I think I've gotten a bit of spatula. That's probably one of the largest gaps that we've got, too. Yeah, so. until we get upstairs, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. But even this one's big for that, but upstairs there's a lot more big gaps. But they're not bigger than that, there's no. just a lot more of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's, yeah. There's a lot more. Any place where we, this is the only place with a lot of oak that has a big gap. Where there's hickory, there is significant. Make the hickory shrunk more than the oak would? Seems like it to me. But I can't swear to that in the court of law. I mean, I just, it seems like it. It seems like it split more, shrank more, and twisted more. And so it's not done, but we can throw more in later. And the other thing yeah. is, it is also behind the dryer. So yes. if that was the middle of the living room, I'd say we'll have another two. Yeah, but, but as it is, yeah. I am thinking chill for today. Yep. Let it dry. See what we can do. To see what we can do with. If it'll be acceptable or not. Yeah. We're just going to have to have it all the only place I really dislike it is um, these places where it's sticking up. Okay, so that's as far as one tube got us today. And the reason we're not going to continue on is we're going to let that dry. And then we're going to see how we think it looks. See if we can clean anything up with a sander or any other method after it's dry. And then decide if, since that's as far as one tube got, how many tubes it's going to take to do this house. And we'll get back with you tomorrow with some of those decisions. Thanks. Okay, so we've gotten the laundry room done, and now we're working down the hallway. Hello. I am doing about eight feet at a time. And what I've figured out is if I get this nice and damp, 
So I'm doing two four foot strips. If I get it nice and damp before I fill it, it's real easy for me to push it all in, then scrape it off, wipe it down, and it's real quick. And when I was doing them and it was dry, uh, it would stick and make me have to work a long time to clean up the lines. So it's coming out pretty good. Okay, so in order to keep this from pushing out and going everywhere, I took one of them and you have to tape the top because they have a little hole in it, but I put that over it and then I set it in that bucket. It keeps pressure on it and with the pressure on it, it doesn't spalluge out and I don't lose a whole handful of this stuff in between things. So just keeping it pressure on itself. Which I, you know, punch this to get the back pressure off, but that don't always work with these things. All right. And we figured out that our DeWalt electric uh, caulking gun might be great for a lot of things, but for this, you're just not putting enough in it to make the extra weight and complexity of that DeWalt gun uh, necessary. necessary. And this chinking it's soft. Yeah, it's soft. It's a lot easier to push out of the caulking gun than like a latex or a silicone caulk or something like that would be, especially in the smaller tubes. It might have something to do with the 30 ounce tubes. Well, that could be. I don't know about that, but I know that it is super, super easy to push. And I grew up and my dad was running an insulation company when I was a kid. And I was the caulking specialist. Which was no fun at all, by the way. <laughs> I want to film you getting the back pressure off that next time you do okay. it. So. Anyway. So I try not to fill them quite so much. So that way as it slides down when you're, then where it's high, goes to where it's low and fills it well, in. Okay. And then Here's the back pressure release when you finish. And because it's squished in there, some of it will still keep oozing out. And if you're not paying attention for a minute, you, it'll ooze out a bunch, which is why I set it. I took one of them, just taped up the hole they made. And I just put it like that, set it in there and its own weight keeps it from doing that. So it makes it a little easier for me to take a bunch of time in between to go finish those lines that I made mess with. <laughs> then we're just taking, once we've got it in there, we're taking a damp sponge mm -hmm. and just smoothing it out and making it look the way it's going to look. Yep, all I do is put that corner in there, kind of make a V and push it from high spots to low spots. And it fills it on in. Put the extra in there. And where it's light, back up, put the extra in there. Then switch hands. And you can see it's got a little bit of overage on the face of the boards and we don't want that. So by pre-wetting the boards, then it makes it easier to take a clean sponge or the silicone tools and just go back and scrape off the excess and wipe it down. And it comes out pretty clean. Yes. And this look is going to have the log cabin look. You can see the wall that we did two days ago. And it looks like a chinked log cabin on the inside. And again, all these boards were made on our home sawmill, band sawmill. And it's got the look we were looking for. We're dealing with uh, the log home shop to get this perma chink systems and they're an online company but their physical stores based in michigan and they've been awesome to work with so we're pretty happy with it we'll probably not film a whole lot of this because it's not super exciting it's very <laughs> tedious to do <laughs> and we've got to have our tv playing while we're doing it no or, joke there. or the radio so we'll probably come back when it's uh closer to complete and show it to you but like I said, this is how we're finishing the interior of our house and we love it. Yeah, it's awesome. So here is the log home shop on the internet 
and they've got several different chinking products. What we used was the permachink and they've got it in five gallon buckets and they can sell you the little tool that puts that in a caulking tube, but we just went ahead. Uh, this was more expensive already in the tube, but it's a lot more convenient for us. Like I said, we're not out chinking uh, the exterior of a big log cabin someplace. We're doing our interior siding. And like I said, we're just doing these cracks. Now, one thing it says too on some of the videos I watched, it said to not chink like uh, some of the cracks. Here's an example of one of the holes. We went ahead and did that just because we think it makes a better look. Like here's a split, right? And some of the stuff we saw said not to do those uh, cracks, but we went ahead and did them and I think it looks pretty good. I'll try and find you one that doesn't have a glare. <laughs> there we go. So that's just a natural split crack where that board dried and we went ahead and chinked it as well. So we've got about a third of our house done already. We started in this laundry room and this was the most difficult room just because there wasn't a lot of space. Here's one of the bigger cracks that we've sealed. But we were figuring out how to do it in here. And then we went to that back workout room or bedroom, third bedroom. We went ahead and did the hallway. We've already, Maggie's actually already put all of our pictures and stuff up but done this whole hallway on the other side of it as well and we're absolutely loving how it came out so we probably will only make one video on this but it's kind of been taking all of our time lately so hopefully you like it have a good one y'all we are up to 14 cases of that 30 ounce caulk tubes of permachink and we really have to thank the log home shop and especially Kim in sales. They've taken care of us and they have awesome customer service. Can't recommend them enough. Thanks a lot for watching. We do love your comments and don't forget to subscribe to follow along. See ya. Thanks for watching.